Well, I just took the uh, clay off of the uh, barrel and the uh, runner that goes under the barrel that the uh, ramrod attaches to. And I'll go down and somebody suggested to use some fine sandpaper to uh, rough up the uh, metal ed metal itself so that the glue will take a little bit better. It took on this and uh, it's good and it's solid. So that's, that's a plus. What I'm gonna do with that extra wire is form an armature for the uh, stock of the rifle. Time to play with some clay. the barrel and the uh, rod or the uh, spacer underneath the barrel came out just fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this, uh, it's a hexagon shaped plastic uh, piece of uh, plastic that I ordered for a rifle that I was doing on another piece and uh, it's thin enough that it could pass for the uh, ramrod. All I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take down the uh, hexagon shape a little bit, hopefully, by just sanding it a little bit. It'll also rough up the surface of the uh, plastic so that it'll adhere a little bit better uh, to the glue, although I don't think the glue is going to have any trouble getting it to adhere, but I don't know what's going to happen. I'm just trying this, I, and I told you yesterday that I wasn't going to take you through this whole process again, but I think I'm going to because I've come up with a different method for doing things that uh, I think will work out just fine, and I'll fill you in a little bit more as I go along going to be different. It won't be exactly the same. That works out pretty good. And I'm going to do the same thing with the metal. What I did was I took this upstairs into the warm part of my house. And I think that helped a lot because the glue doesn't react well to cold temperatures. What I'm thinking of is using regular clay uh, to uh, create the stock, but I'll fill you in more about that later. Now I'm going to put this on my clay support. I'm going to trim this down a little bit. get everything together. Okay. I really like this dispenser for this Gorilla Glue. It works out really nice. up this uh, tube
Okay, I'm going to just leave that down here. I've got my heater going so that uh, it will keep it warm in here. This is the uh, Gorilla Glue that I've been using. I really like this dispenser because you press the sides and it presses, it puts a lot of pressure on the tube to push the uh, glue out. I like that. Okay, I'm going to flip off the end of the ramrod so that's even at the front of the barrel. It looks like it lines up really nicely. And the sanding has taken down that edge of the, the uh, octagon shaped uh, piece of plastic. And that works out nicely. And I've got it lined up perfectly above the spacer. So we'll see if that works out. All right, I'm going to come down later this afternoon and uh, work on this. So I'll be right back. Well, in a couple hours. All right, I took uh, the clay off. It worked out perfectly. Using clay as the clamp, it was, I must say myself, totally brilliant. <laughs> It really worked out good. And uh, so now what I'm going to do is get this cleaned up and paint it. Because I'm going to use regular clay instead of the uh, monster clay uh, to uh, create the stock. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and paint the barrel. I've already explained to me in the past why I do this. But I'll do it again because there are people who are watching my video for the first time. It's to make the clay or make the uh, material that I was using, and in this case it's metal and plastic, is to make it all look like the clay. I took uh, a sample of clay to a hardware store and had it matched to the clay that I used by taking a sample of the clay with me. And that way, there's no questions from potential clients who look at my finished product in clay as to what is that and why is it different. This eliminates that question. Okay, now I got to form the armature for the uh, the uh, stock of the gun. Now I'm going to mark the uh, furthest that the uh, stock goes on the uh, barrel. Okay. Now I need to wrap it around where the stock ends on the uh, the whole thing. Now, see, I'm not going to worry about the underside because this is the side that's going to be showing, not this side. So I'm not as worried about this side as I am the other side because this side is never going to show. So. Okay, I'm going to pick this up tomorrow. 
I'm going to let this clay uh, stiffen up just a little bit over the night. J-Mac does stiffen up after it cools off a little bit. It never hardens, but it'll stiffen. So you can see the first one I did, and actually it's the third, second one I did. This is the third one I've done, so it, it just keeps getting better. All right, everybody, I'm going to say good night and see you next time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.